It is actually day one of National Novel Writing Month, November 1st, 2017. So far, I have been doing this now for four years. The first year was bad. I didn't even sign on to the website. So the first thing that you want to do if you're doing NaNoWriMo, go to NaNoWriMo.org, sign up, join the fun, read the forums. It's all kinds of fun. So I, I did compile a list of about 15 different things you can use to help you win NaNoWriMo. The goal, of course, is to write 50,000 words in one month. It sounds like a lot, but when it comes down to it, it's, it's not too much. It's about 1,666 seven words a day, which if you have a good hour or so of time, uh, maybe an hour and a half of time, if you're a little bit sluggish like I can be sometimes, and that may help you. So the the main thing is just to keep at it, keep getting those words. So let me kind of go through these 15 different tips that I have. They are available on our website, scenerychanges.com, where I've gone into a little bit more detail, but I'm just going to go kind of quickly through these that have really helped me. Um, this year's a little bit different, but um, I'll talk about that when I get to that point. So first thing, number one, is to take a movie slash TV break. Um, you know, it's it's always, every year, November is always an epic month for movies. We have Thor Ragnarok coming out, which I'm very excited about. We have the Justice League movie that I think is coming out. <laughs> There's all kinds of great movies, and I'm, I'm sure you have a backlog of Netflix shows that you've queued as well. Hopefully you've already watched season two of Stranger Things. If not, go binge it now. Um, the other thing is that with that, if it's on Netflix, it's probably going to be there after November ends, and you're probably okay with missing some of those movies that you really wanted to see in theaters. If you could save some money for the price of the ticket of going, you could just buy the movie yourself. Uh, the second thing is to have some character th sheets. Now, this year I'm doing a little bit different. I'm actually not using my character sheets that I typically do. However, I do have a great resource um, on my on our website that um, I have a character sheet that takes about an hour to complete, gets you really involved in the characters that you're using in your story. It helps with their development, their growth, kind of their impressions of other characters as well in the story so it's it's quite detailed it's it's very fun I actually enjoy doing it I I kind of get nerdy when it comes to my characters and and like to get to know them a little bit better and so the third point is an outline um, I use a, a three three arc um, three act uh, 15 point outline normally now, if you're a pantser, which I'm actually doing, um, which is just writing at the seat of your pants, um, you can kind of skip this step. Um, I do recommend using an outline for your first story you're using for an NaNoWriMo just because it kind of gets you to where you want to go, and all you have to really worry about is just kind of the filler. So the more you plan ahead, the easier it is to stay on track and keep those words going. Unless you do have that gift of pantsing and can just write a story just from the seat of your pants, you just let it go, let the characters take over, which is what I'm do actually doing this year. And the fourth thing is to let social media know. Um, this is actually a, a great thing to do because you'll find hidden people that are doing nano that you never knew before, like me and Lisa are both doing NaNoWriMo this year, as well as a lot of our friends. Um, we found it great community in Omaha and Des Moines and the Twin Cities. There's places all over that you can find amazing people that get together and uh, push you along doing um, all kinds of things together. So this actually goes into my fifth point, which is the community of writers or your social media support. NaNoWriMo.org actually has a fantastic community, some great forums. If you are like me and you shoot to do over 50,000, you can join the, um, I think it's the Beyond 50K forums, and they are crazy, and they're a lot of fun. The One of Us forum goes on for hundreds and hundreds of, of posts, and I pop up in there every once in a while, um, drinking the Kool-Aid and the cookies and sitting in the tentacle couch, because you can never leave once you join. Even though I was just going to do 50,000 this year, I'm, I can't. Uh, the sixth thing is to reward, reward the little things. So it's 1,667 so 1, words isn't um, 
that something just to toss around lightly, especially if you're working full time, you have kids, you go to school, um, you know, whatever you're doing, um, you know, you, you need to reward those things. If you, if you make your, your day goal, you know, reward yourself. If you go beyond it, if you do two days in one day, kind of take a day off, whatever you need to do, just, um, reward those, those little things that you get, you know, once you hit 10,000 words, do a, um, take a little break. If you reach 10,000 words in one day, um, get the shirt from Tosca Lee. It's amazing. The seventh thing is to kind of get into a writing zen. Um, this can be where you take, take, take time to do about 25 minutes of writing, five minutes of time off, just to kind of look somewhere else, do something else, get up, move around. You can also do this for a little bit longer if you just if you know you just have one hour to write, just do that one hour of writing, um, get that done, and then take a break after that. Sometimes, which happens if you're doing a 10k day, <laughs> you just kind of write and you keep writing, and you may forget to eat or take water breaks or things like that. Don't do that. You should probably just take a break when you need to and to keep yourself going so you don't. It's kind of fizzle out at the end. The number eight tip that I use is actually the quote from one of our favorite movies is uh, never give up, never surrender. And remember that um, writing is 90% not being distracted by the internet. So you need to stay focused. Don't worry about the, all the memes that are happening, all the gifs that you're missing on Facebook. You'll get those later. I'm sure you'll catch up on everything. Um, the best excuse to use is just to simply tell people, I can't, I'm writing. And if you're a professional writer, this actually gets, goes into a great elevator speech where someone's like, oh, you're writing, what do you write? And then you can go on and pitch your book, anything like that, or just um, get some encouragement from other people as well. The ninth thing is to write through the slumps. So sometimes you get to that point where you get stuck. You don't know what to do. You're in that block. Um, I don't really like the term writing block though because um, I see it as more of a, a writing hurdle. It's, it's a wall that you have to get over and the best way to get over that is with more words. Um, <laughs> you, I know this sounds crazy but you know this is nano. You just keep keep writing and writing and rewriting until you find that right thing that fits. Um, I actually have an, another article about Rolodexing, which we use in our improv, that also works when you're writing as well. You just keep keep adding sentences, keep getting ideas until you get that one that fits just right where you need it to be. You need to remember that your rough draft is rough. It's not meant to be perfect, it's not meant to be edited correctly, not satisfactory, not like, wow, this is amazing. I mean, that, that should be what your first revision is, is, wow, this is amazing. This is so much better than what I've ever written before. Um, I actually had a, um, a great friend of mine who's, who's a writer herself as well. She gave me the advice um, to just uh, what I do is I just kind of close my laptop down a little bit or just like look off somewhere else as I'm typing and that allows me to just write to keep my keep my uh, mind palace going writing the words um, that I need to write down and not not worrying about any edits um, I do use the backspace which is what you're not supposed to do um, but I do that and you're not supposed to do that though I'm supposed to say you're not supposed to do that I think, or the nano police come after me. I don't know. Anyway, um, the other uh, tip number 11 is to do a 10K day, which sounds crazy, but it is a whole lot of fun. And I would <laughs> advise you that if you've never done a 10K day, day before, um, to kind of prepare yourself for it because it's very taxing. It's a lot more taxing than you would kind of imagine. Um, I, I, I do it on the weekends if I can. Um, just because I work uh, Monday through Friday, so, um, but yeah, you definitely want to have a plan for this. Get, um, you know, get little snacks and stuff that you can do, little stress relievers, little break ideas. Definitely use that, that 25 on, 5 minutes off rule, um, taking longer breaks, staying away from internets, YouTubes, all those things, um, unless you're watching YouTube videos like this one. Number 12 is to change scenery. <laughs> just 
scenery changes. That's funny. Okay, the uh, some sometimes you might just get to that point where you're you've hit a wall and you're just not sure how to get over it. Or your characters just aren't working the way you you want them to. The, my best advice here is, and it's depending on you, but for me, it really helps me to go to a new location, a, a new coffee shop, a, a a different place that I've never tried before. You know, maybe try going to. Sometimes it may work even to go to like a fast food place and even though it's like really busy and you can only get like a few words in, it kind of gets you like started and like, okay, I need to get more words in. And so then you get back to your your writing place and you get all the words in. Another great way to find new places and new scenery is to join one of the, the meetups. Um, a, lot of, a lot of groups, if you're in the bigger cities, will have places where they meet, where a lot of people get together, they do word wars, they do all kinds of crazy things and, and rewards, and it's just a fun community to get, to get involved in. Every place we've gone to so far has had an amazing group. So, number 13, we're getting there, the number is in the details. So, uh, if you're kind of at a point where you feel like, I just I just want to get my words done, I just need to get this this done but I feel like this scene is just way too short but I don't know how to get there and I need to get there with the words then you just simply go into the details about about your your characters you can go back to kind of your your character descriptions and kind of add those into your story or get it go into detail about something that's unique about the setting you know this may be something that you do normally when you write so it may not be that big of a deal for you but um, for some of us, like me, I tend to avoid some of those details, not on purpose. <laughs> so I like to go and just try to add some of those details. And sometimes those little details may um, add a add a bit of foreshadowing or depth or um, a, a backstory idea that you didn't know before. But the main thing is just getting those words. Every word counts. Fourteenth thing is I um, <laughs> say to talk to yourself, um, or your characters I mean. So the, you you definitely want to get into that that dialogue with the characters, and sometimes I, I've used it before too, where I'm just like, why are you doing this? You're so stupid. Why why are you so one dimensional, character? Why can't you be more three dimensional? What do I need to do to fix you? And then just have a have a conversation with. Um, your characters if you need to get some extra words into just you talking to them. Um, I know you probably shouldn't do this for very long because you'd probably go insane. For my, my final uh, point, uh, point number 15, is to aim past your goals. And so um, I actually set my goals at 50,000 words the very first time that I just got serious about doing it and I got around 75,000 words. I've been planning so far since then to get 100,000 words, um, which is 3,334 words a day, but I haven't reached it yet. I know some people you could just can fly through and they type like a million miles an hour and they have all the words and they get hundreds of thousands, if not close to a million. I do know some people in, in Nano, once you join the farms, you the overachievers side, you learn there's people that get a million words in a month, and it's crazy, and I don't know how their fingers even stay attached. I hope these uh, 15 points helped you. If you do have any questions about them, you can certainly uh, comment down below or give some other tips that you use as well to get through NaNoWriMo. And I'm also hoping that you will subscribe to us. Uh, we do have lots of other shows coming up that I'll be putting here on this YouTube channel. We have some new travels as well as some full-time RVing tips that we've been learning through these cold winter months in Nebraska where we should have went to California. No, Nebraska's fine. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy NaNoWriMo, and we'll see you soon with some more updates. Thank you.